Hello, today I am going to explain a problem on projections of a section solid. In this problem, a hexagonal prism of base size 30 mm and altitude 65 mm rests on one of its bases on HP with two rectangular faces parallel to VP. Now, this is hexagonal prism. It is kept on one of its base on HP with two par parallel faces. This is one face and this is another face. These two faces are parallel to VP. In this type of problem, we will draw projection of solid first. For that, we have to draw that view first in which true shape of its base is visible. Now you can see that from when you look from top, the true shape of the base will be visible. Therefore, top view will be drawn first where you will get a hexagon with two sides, these two sides of hexagon parallel to XY line. This is our XY line. So these two sides will be parallel to XY line. And front view will appear like this. When you look from front, you will get one rectangular shape. And once you draw top view and front view of this solid, you have to cut this by a plane perpendicular to VP, inclined at 30 degree to HP, and meets the axis at 30 mm from the top. Now you have to draw one section plane. Now this section plane is inclined at 30 degree from HP. This is given 30 degree to HP and it is perpendicular to VP. Therefore, when you look this plane from front, it will appear as a line in front view. So now this plane is meets the axis at 30 mm from the top. So this plane, that means in this axis from the top, this distance is 30 mm. This plane is meeting at 30 mm from the top of this axis. After cutting this section, you have to draw top view and front view of the remaining portion. That means you have to draw front view and top view of this remaining portion of the solid. So let's start to draw. First, draw XY line. Now you have to draw top view first in which you will get one hexagon of each side 30 mm and these two sides parallel to XY line. So you start with one line parallel to XY line, draw 120 degree both sides, same length 30, again 120 degree, 120 degree. In this way, you can complete this hexagon. Next, you need center of this hexagon. For that, join two opposite corners. So I have joined these two opposite corners and these two opposite corners, intersection of these will be this point. So this is representing axis of the hexagonal prism. Now mark all the corner points. So these are all bottom corner points. That means this, are, this is A. So A, A, B, C, D, E, F. So these are all points. Now project all these points. When you project all these points, they will appear in XY line. Mark these points as A dash, B dash. So when you look from this side, A dash, B, A, B, C and D will be visible. E and F will not be visible. So I have written these two above XY line. Join a solid line from A dash to D dash. Now draw axis of height 65 mm. This height is given 65 mm. From this center, draw one line, axis line, which is of height 65 mm. This height is 65 mm. Similarly, draw other edges. These are all vertical edges from A, B, C, D. These two edges will be, these four edges will be visible. So these all will be of same height 65 mm. Close it. This is the top base of the hexagonal place. This height is 65 mm. Now measure a length of 30 mm from top of the axis. From here, draw mark one point at a distance of 30 mm. From this point, draw a line at an angle of 30 degree. This line is section line. You have to draw section line like this. One long line, then two dash lines, then one long line, two dash lines. Now we have to mark all the points where this section plane is cutting the edges of the hexagonal prism. That means these are the edges. So you can see one edge is this, this edge which is passing through A, similarly another edge which is passing through B, C, D, E and F. So the section plane is cutting these six edges. So you have to mark all these points. So mark these points as one dash. One dash is this point. Section plane is cutting vertical edge from A. Similarly, this is two, three, four, five and six points. So I have marked these points two dash, three dash, four dash, 
now 5 dash is behind 3 dash so this is 5 dash this is 3 dash similarly this point is 6 dash so i have marked all these points now when you project all these points in top view you can see that 1 dash and a dash are uh, coinciding at same place at this place so when you look from top 1 dash 1 will appear here only similarly all other points 1 2 will appear uh, with b and 3 with c with D and so on and when you look from top only 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 will be visible a b c d e f is not are not visible therefore I have removed this so this is what you will get uh, in top view now this is section this part is cut and removed top portion is removed so mark all this part this remaining part this part up to here make these lines as thick lines this will be very thin lines in top view, you have to draw hatching line or section lines, which is approximately 45 degree from this horizontal line and uh, try to keep these lines equidistance and should be thin lines. So this is what you got for as a front view and uh, this is a top view of the section prism. Now to get true shape of this section, the section what you are getting because this is inclined, so in top view what you are getting is not the true shape of the section to get the true shape of this section you have to project this section on an auxiliary inclined plane which is parallel to this section plane that means you have to draw one x1 y1 line that is another xy line which is parallel to this section plane and then you have to project all these points that means you have to mark all the points from here to here this distance this distance etc you have to mark here I can see that there is one line 1 to 4 which is uh, which is parallel to XY line therefore in place of drawing auxiliary inclined plane directly I am drawing this line and I will project around this line all the points which will be easier compared to the actual uh, method so what I am doing I am drawing one line this line is actually this line which is parallel to XY line now I will project all these six points in this line. Now you can see this 1 and 4 are on this same line. So from 1 dash and 4 dash I am drawing two lines. Two lines which are perpendicular to this section line. These two lines, this line and this line both are perpendicular to this section line. And 1 and 4 are on this line only. Therefore you are directly getting 1 and 4 points. Similarly draw lines perpendicular to this section line from 2 6 and 3 5 so i have drawn now in this line you will get 2 and 6 and in this line you will get 3 and 5 how can you get you measure this length i have drawn two lines also perpendicular lines so from this point you use your compass take this length from here to here now this is symmetrical this side this side all these sides are same so just take one once this length from this point to this point now cut arc take center this point as center and draw two arcs this side and this side so this in this way you will get 2 and 6 so this distance is 2 and 6 so 2 is away from xy line so from away from this so this is 2 and this is 6 with same distance now take center this center and draw two arcs both side so draw two arcs both sides and these two points are 3 and 5. Now join all these points in sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, now this is the true shape of the section. Now to show this as a section, you have to draw hatching lines or section lines which are thin lines. Uh, now you can see now this angle are somewhat different you can take any angle it is not necessary to draw a 45 degree these lines should not be vertical or horizontal in this way you got this true shape of the section also this is what you need to draw in this particular problem